Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. But you lose me for my twang. That's right, it is Twang and Tuesday. And on this day, I like to feature country music past, present, or future. Now I want to get something out of the way. You know what really grinds my gears? You know what grinds my gears is the fact that, you know, Certain companies have the nerve to charge certain prices at this time. Now, I went to the pharmacy, and I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. I went to the pharmacy to pick up a certain prescription, which only cost me $24 last month. But when I went to go to the pharmacy now, they wanted to charge me a ridiculous price. And take a look at this. Now this is for the medication or Zempic. And you can see I paid like 24 or something last month. And then when I went in there now, they want, they had the nerve to say like, okay, that'll be 500 and something dollars. And they did it with a straight face. And I'm like, God damn it, are you fucking with me? So I even had a coupon for it, which brought, the coup brought it down to like $300. But I'm like, nobody can afford that. So I end up calling up my prescription benefit company and they're like batting an eye like, well, you know, you only have to pay this amount of money until you, 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 your, your deductible is met. And they're using the word like only, like it's, well, it's only this amount of money. Well, it's only like almost my rent to buy one, one medication for one month. Now, we're not even going to talk about the other medication, which is Farsiga, which they tried to do for the same amount. And then they go, oh, but we got generic. We want generic. And I was like, damn right. You got damn right. I could. And so uh, they tell me the generic price and the generic price is more than the name brand. And they're like, oh, well, it's a brand new generic. And it's like, oh, it doesn't make a difference. So, um. Yeah, that's what's really making me mad right now. And the reason why I, I wanted to bring that up is that the chair that I'm sitting in is only built for 300 pounds. And prior to me running out of this medication, I was steadily losing weight. It was almost like a pound a day or a pound every other day. And I was well under 200 pounds. I think I was around 290 you know, and then as soon as I run out of this medication, uh, I, I, I balloon. I'm, I'm like 10 pounds. I'm like 310 pounds right now. And of course, every time I sit into this chair, if I move, it starts to lower and lower and lower to the point where I'm almost sitting on the floor. So that's what made me bring it up. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, the first song that I'm going to do, I'll move back over here. The first song that I'm going to do, of course, you know, is a Morgan Wallen song. And you know it's going to be a Morgan Wallen song off of the album Dangerous. And so this will be number eight off of the album that I've done. And the song that I'm going to do is called Still Going Down. And this song was released in November of 2020, actually November 20th of 2020. So it's 2020. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I learned that the song is about, uh, pays tribute to all the small town Friday nights and beer drinking around the bonfire. Walden describes the song. It's all about growing up in a country, in the country, it truly is a love song to the town that raised him, which is pretty cool. Everybody, you know, wants to rep their, their hometown. I'm repping Columbus, Ohio, you know, so there you go. So let's take a look at what this song did do on the charts. And Balamo, it went to number 38 in Canada, number 60 on the Global 200, number 33 in New Zealand, number 45 on the Billboard Hot 100, but number 8 on the U.S. Country Songs. 
So, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Morgan Wallen and Still Going Down. They're going to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you about individual freedom. But they see a free individual, it's going to scare them. No, well, don't make them running scared. No, it makes them dangerous. The way I talk, I guess I got it from a pop product of some milling down in a town where the doors don't lock. And there's a million other people like me from a scene a little more poke dunk and pop. I didn't choose being born in the sticks, and I'll be damned if I sound like something I ain't. For some folks, a back road gets old, but for me, it just can't. Cause I'm from a small town, a southern tall crowd. We sip and clear, drinking beer on a Friday night. Every country girl got on a cut off, shaking her head. Around the fire, to kicking up some dust behind the tires. Call it cliche, but they just take it from me. It's still going down out in the country. I completely understand uh, about all of that and the reason why I do is because you know I might not be from the country and I do apologize if you hear things I'm adjusting my microphone back uh, if, the reason why I do know is that number one back in like 2001 2002 uh, the girlfriend I was dating at the time took me to a bonfire out in the middle of nowhere, uh, north of Columbus in Delaware County. And it just so happened that we got there and I'm the only black person there. Get the fuck out of here! And everybody's listening to things like, you know, certain country, you know, certain hip hop uh, of the time that was, um, rock like Limp Biscuit and, and things of that nature and uh, there was a bonfire going on there and you know as much as I felt uncomfortable um, 
at first I was like, okay, I, I could deal with this. I've been in situations where I'm the only black person before. And so I was like, I could deal with this. Until two guys came up to me who were drunk as a skunk. But I'm sure there was a conversation with them like, hey, hey, let's, let's, let's go ask him. He'll, he'll, he'll know. Da, 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 da. So they come up to me and they're like, dude, we're, we, we, we need to know uh, and answer this question for us. Who was better, Biggie or Tupac? That was the question they had for me. And I, in my head, I'm like, You gotta be fucking kidding me. And it was soon after that, I was like, look, we need to go. We, we really need to go. Because when people start getting drunk around a bonfire, especially in that particular situation where we were, once you start hearing yeehaws, it's really time to go, for real real and if you're a person of color you would understand what i'm coming from and if you're not a person of color you're not going to understand where i'm coming from but that's the nature of you know the game it's not necessarily that it's the fact that um i'm not a big outdoor person I mean, I grew up, you know, being an outdoor person, and it was almost to the point where it's like, you know what, I've had enough of the outdoors. When you live in Alaska and, you know, you're outdoors, when you're living in Colorado and you're outdoors, when you're living in the, the UK and California, all these things, especially back in the 70s and 80s, you were always outdoors. So, you know, I got enough of that, and especially once my, once my back went out, it was like, you know what, I really don't like hanging outdoors anymore. I really don't like dealing with the elements. And maybe that's why I look so good. You know, granted, I got the gray hair, but if I didn't have the gray hair, I'd probably look like I was 40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be real. I probably look like I was 40, even though I turned, I think, 54, 55 this year. I can't remember. I hate math, and I hate getting old. Ha <laughs> ha, you're old. So, I like the song. There we go. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.